continue on now with verse 12, the first part of Habakkuk. Yes, we're still in chapter 1. Are you not from everlasting, O Lord my God, my Holy One? We shall not die. The first thought that came to my mind in connection with this is, we're not going to die, yahoo! <laughs> right? I can see Habakkuk with these words thinking that. That the Lord reassured him that the Assyrians were going to get their comeuppance and the Babylonians, the Chaldeans, who were going to, he was going to use to do that, there would come a day when the Babylonians would get their comeuppance too. And Judah would be spared. That they would not be carted off as the northern ten tribes of Israel were by the Assyrians. And so Habakkuk and those who read these words of Habakkuk, there was much rejoicing. Um, the Lord does say, doesn't he? He invites us, call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. And so when the Lord does deliver us, from some temporal and earthly hardship, we rejoice. You know, he, he doesn't cut us off because of our sins. He doesn't deal with us according to our iniquities. He deals with us, as with all people, in compassion, in mercy, and kindness. And Yet, there is that human nature selfishness in that rejoicing, right? Whew, I didn't get caught. Whew, I didn't get in trouble. Yet. Uh, and it, it goes back to the burden. You know, we, we do. And even though the Lord does spare us from severe, severe um, punishment, from a severe temporal burden, um, even though we don't always think so, you know, oh man, this is more than I can bear, Lord. And how do you know? that the Lord hasn't in mercy spared you from something far worse. We just, you know, need to learn that when the Lord does spare us, that, that our rejoicing is, is in humility, in a genuine thankfulness um, that he hasn't cut us off from the land of the living because of our sins and that he has as the Holy One redeemed us through his Son so that we can rejoice in the hope that we have of eternal life that's the greater issue. That's the greater focus, right? As we talked about um, the Lord's plan for the world, the Lord's plan for us, it's eternal life. And while we have to, and while we bear the, the burdens of this life because of sin, we rejoice in great thankfulness, with exceedingly great joy, that he has spared us 
from the eternal. He comforts us with that promise. He who believes in me, Jesus, shall not perish. We will not die through faith in Christ. 